In the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, a new era of naval warfare is brewing. China has developed a new class of weapons carrier killer missiles. These advanced anti-ship ballistic missiles, or ASBMs, pose a direct threat to the large, powerful aircraft carriers that have long been a cornerstone of American naval dominance. Representing a bold challenge to the established order, these missiles have ignited a debate about the future of naval power. These missiles, armed with sophisticated guidance systems and powerful warheads, are specifically designed to target and destroy moving aircraft carriers, even at great distances. The development of these missiles is not merely a technological feat, but a strategic statement. As China continues to develop and deploy these advanced weapons, the world watches closely, eager to understand how this new chapter in military history will unfold. At the heart of China's anti-ship strategy lie two formidable missiles, the DF-21D and the DF-26B. These missiles, often dubbed carrier killers in the West, represent a significant leap forward in Chinese military technology. The DF-21D, often referred to as the world's first anti-ship ballistic missile, or ASBM, has been in service for over a decade. With a range exceeding 1,500 kilometers, it can strike targets far offshore, making it a potent weapon for denying access to foreign navies. The DF-26B, a more recent addition to China's arsenal, boasts an even greater reach. With a range estimated to be over 4,000 kilometers, this intermediate-range ballistic missile, or IRBM, can target vessels as far away as Guam. Both the DF-21D and DF-26B are designed to be launched from mobile platforms, making them difficult to track and target. Their existence has forced the U.S. and its allies to rethink their naval strategies and invest in countermeasures to mitigate the threat they pose. For decades, the U.S. Navy's supercarriers have reigned supreme, projecting American power across the globe. These floating fortresses, bristling with advanced aircraft and escorted by a formidable fleet of warships, have long been considered the ultimate symbol of naval dominance. However, China's development of carrier killer missiles like the DF-21D and DF-26B presents a direct challenge to this paradigm. The U.S. Navy's approach to naval warfare has traditionally revolved around power projection. Carrier strike groups, centered around these massive warships, are designed to operate far from American shores, projecting force and influence wherever needed. China's strategy focuses on anti-access slash area denial, or A2 slash AD. Rather than engaging in a direct carrier-to-carrier -carrier battle, China aims to create a zone of denial in the Western Pacific. This strategy relies heavily on land-based missiles like the DF-21D and DF-26B, which can target and potentially sink U.S. carriers from afar. The era of unchallenged American naval dominance may be drawing to a close, ushering in a period of greater uncertainty and risk in the Pacific. China's recent missile tests have been, well, quite assertive. These tests are not just about showcasing power, they're also about sending a clear message to the rest of the world. China's advancements in missile technology are reshaping the dynamics of military power in the region. The implications of China's missile tests are honestly far-reaching. Neighboring countries are now re-evaluating their own defense strategies. The advancements in missile technology are driving nations to innovate and adapt setting the stage for a new era in naval warfare.